Classic Game Room is brought to you by Magnum Skywolf. CGR is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Welcome to Classic Game Room for the review of the NARC LCD handheld game. That's right. NARC. It's better than you might expect. It was a normal day, one sunny April morning, when I arrived at the Intergalactic Space Arcade only to find a massive box filled with LCD handheld game systems. Lots of them, including a 3D ninja game, but what really jumped out at me was NARC. Because I used to have this game when I was a kid. And I remember it being really cool. If the game has blood splattered all over the logo, it's got to be good, right? Well, have I killed those brain cells over the years, or is my memory correct? Is this a crappy handheld worth playing? Let's... let's find out. Oh no, I got eaten by the dog while grabbing bullets. As a general rule, all of these games suck. There's not a whole lot they could do with these 80s and 90s LCD handhelds. And oh, by the way, this one is from Acclaim. Cheap drugstore LCD handheld game system made by Acclaim. This sounds about as good of an idea as entering the R Zone. And it doesn't really resemble the NARC arcade game all that much. Also, I think we're shooting out a fast food drive through speaker system that breathes fire on you and transforms into a giant skeleton. Now, how's that not cool? Wait a second. Is this game actually good? I'm not sure I would go so far as to say NARC, the crappy LCD handheld, is good. But at least it proves I haven't murdered all of my brain cells. Because given the limitations of the cheap, crappy LCD technology, it's not half bad. And let's face it, if you take this on a trip, you'll be the only one on the plane playing NARC. And everyone around you will love the sounds this thing makes. Whoa, hey, there's the ladder. Get up there. Okay, here's what you do. You shoot the guy in the trench coat and jump over the killer attack dogs while making sure to pick up some extra bullets before you ascend to the second level. Be wary of the fire shooting out of the drive through thing, and watch out for the perverts or drug dealers in the trench coats. You want to shoot them before they reach the bottom of the second level. Also, pick up the briefcase filled with coke. You can sell that on the open market later. Then quickly shoot out the skeleton before it attacks you. Also, watch out for those trench coat guys. And if you survive, repeat, that's NARC, the LCD game. It looks pretty cool, I like the black plastic case and the red buttons. It's got a sketchy subway platform on the bottom level and a warehouse or something on the top. This is one of three handheld games that I remember from my childhood. I had the Defender game from Entex that I reviewed years ago, this one, and Burger Time. NARC is interesting because the gameplay is actually somewhat complex for an LCD handheld, and it works. This may be the only one of these games that successfully pulls off a split-level playfield. Or at least it's the only one that I can think of. I mean, look at what's going on here. You're avoiding obstacles, jumping things, shooting bad guys, climbing ladders, picking up drugs, and fighting an end boss. All in one crappy LCD handheld. That's pretty impressive. These designers deserve an award. It's all a bit random though, as you might expect from this kind of game. The hardest part is climbing the ladder up to the second level and not running into the sketchy guys in the trench coats. Because you need to wait for the ammo to appear. It does you no good to get up there and then run out of bullets, because then you can't fight the giant skeleton, obviously. And watch out for the dog while trying to grab the briefcase filled with cocaine. Now, as you might expect, I have a huge classic game room shout out and thank you to send all the way to Eric from Pasadena, California. 
Thank you, Eric. This was quite unexpected. To walk into work one day and find a giant 40-pound box filled with LCD handheld games, including one from my childhood. How did it get to California? Now I'm going to have nightmares about the music in this game. It's terrible, but that's also part of what makes it so cool. NARC! Perfect for gaming in public in confined quiet spaces. Just make sure to yell when you get the cocaine before the dog. Thank you for watching. Follow Classic Game Room on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon. Don't miss Magnum Skywolf, also on Patreon. Welcome to the club. It's the Lord Carnage Club, where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano. Introducing Michael Fernandez. Oh, yeah! Michael Nelson! Lord Carnage approves. Jim Moriarty! Sergio Matthias! Hergert! Jason from Kamloops! British Columbia! Busy! Busy. Busy. Signal! Signal! Signal. Al Cyber! Sean Zoltek. <laughs> I'm just kidding again! Sean Zoltek! Stephen Chucknick from New Jersey! Landon Ellerby! He's the administrator of these credits. Philip Straubenmuller of Vienna, Austria! Woo! Jack Stavris from Australia! Home of Mad Max! Ohad Kane! Cue the Thunder! Jeff! Captain Dauntless! Briar! Rick DeBarros! Out of sight! Will, 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 Will. Kid Shuruken! Fatality! Chip! Sink Bale! That was too evil, wasn't it? Let's try that again. Chip! Sink Bale! See you next time on Classic Game Room. Thanks for watching.